Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. Today we are going to fix the computer problem if your computer freezes, browser not responding, computer is slow at the startup, overall performance is not good, computer is lagging, your PC is actually lagging. So we will be doing 10 simple steps to fix this problem and make sure you follow all the steps because if you miss a, even a single step you might not be able to fix this problem permanently so we are going to fix this and i'm sure once you are done with this your computer will be way better and it will act like a brand new computer so let's get started so at the left hand side in the search bar type power so once you type power you will get power and sleep settings so i'll click on that and at the right hand side you see additional power settings so we are going to change the power plan which will increase the computer performance drastically so here you need to select change plan settings here you will find change advanced power settings from here you can select the high performance in my since it's a work computer i don't have this option but you will definitely have this option so select the power plan high performance click on apply and then okay if you don't find that option what you can do is at the left hand side create a power plan so once you create a power plan you can name that and click on next and here you will get the option to select high performance once we are done we will move to the next step we need to uninstall unwanted applications from the computer so your computer may be slow because of there are a lot of junk a lot of unwanted applications sitting there and making the computer slow so for that we just need to type in the search bar add add space or and you will find add or remove program now once you are here make sure you uninstall anything which is unwanted if for that you just have to select that and you just need to click on uninstall so in this manner you will be able to get rid of all unwanted applications once you're done we will move to the third step and as i said all steps are very important so make sure you don't miss any of the steps so i'll just close this and we will move to the third step which is deleting the junk files the unnecessary files from the computer and for that we will be doing four steps so what you can do is at the left hand side at the start just do a right click and go to run and here we need to type temp so i'll just zoom it out so that you can see and i'll just hit enter and i'll get this option so select any of the file press ctrl a and then shift delete on a keyboard so when you press shift and delete you permanently delete all the junks and this will increase the performance of the computer and if your pc is lagging that that will be also fixed so i'll just close this and we will move to the next step again we will open the run window you can also search the run command and then just click on open and this time we will type person temp percentage now i will zoom it out so that you can see and i'll press enter now this is a, another location of junk all these files are not created by you these are all system generated files which needs to be deleted to increase the performance i'll select any of the file press ctrl a and then shift delete and it will delete all the junks permanent so if some of the files gets remaining not to worry about it that's absolutely fine you can simply cancel it and i'll move to the next step which is again i need to open the run so i'll just type run and this time i'll type prefetch so this is the command i'll just zoom it out prefetch p-r-e-f-e-t-c-h and i'll hit enter it will ask 
for the permission so i'll click on continue i'll select any of the file press ctrl a and then shift delete so once this is done we will do another thing to open the run command and this time we will type clean mgr clean mgr and hit ok so the moment i do it this is my favorite thing which i do it on a random basis select all the check marks and click on ok it will wipe out all the chunks registries bad files created in the computer will be cleaned once this is done we will move to the next step is the startup so we need to disable some startup programs unwanted programs so you can do a right click on the taskbar and then click on task manager and then win and then we will go to startup item make sure you disable all unwanted applications like let's say if i want do not want skype at the startup i'll just do a right click and i'll click on disable since it's already disabled it's showing me it's asking me to enable so you can select and disable or enable from here this will drastically change the performance increase the performance of your computer and if your computer is lagging if it's slow at startup this will fix this is a major step which you need to do now the next step which we are going to do is to disable a service which takes a lot of usage a lot of memory so i'll just open the run command run window and i will type services.ms so once you have typed services.msc click on ok and the services window will appear very soon so i'll just maximize it so that you can see and i'll type syf and i found this sysmain which is actually a super fetch service so you do not need that you just need to do a right click go to properties and select disabled click on apply and then okay in my computer i have already disabled that so this will help your computer run faster so you can do that so we'll move to the next step and that step is scanning for viruses or malicious software in the computer you can use malware bytes super anti spyware avast bit defender so i'm going to run a malware byte so for that you just need to type malware bytes like this and you will get this option malwarebytes.com you download that file free download and you install it and scan for virus infection because if there is a virus in your computer and if it's running in the background it will take a lot of resources and it will always keep your computer slow so make sure you do this step you can do this either you can run malware bytes or you can simply search in the search bar i'll just maximize it you just need to type hitman pro malware removal tool hit enter and you will find https hitmanpro.com this is another great free software which you can install it and scan for viruses so once the website is open it will look like this it has a 30 day free trial which you can install it and scan for viruses once this is done we will move to the next step which is a browser cleanup so if you're using google chrome you can open that and i'll just maximize it click on the three dots at the very top right hand corner and go to settings and here we are going to advanced and i'll click on reset and cleanup restore settings to their original defaults now this will not delete your bookmarks or passwords or anything so you can simply click on reset settings and then move to the next step now you need to click on extensions and make sure you do not have any unwanted extension and if you have it you can simply click on remove now the last step the 10th step is to update the windows now most of us forget to update the windows which is not at all 
recommended. A good practice is always get the Microsoft updates to ensure your computer is replaced by fresh Microsoft files, which is always good. So for that, you just need to type Windows and you will find Windows update settings. And here you can download or you will have check for updates. So once you download, it will restart the computer several times. It may take time. It depends on the speed of your internet. So once you download, you restart the computer and see the performance. Let me know in the comment section after doing all these 10 steps. Is your computer faster? Are you happy with your computer now or not? If you have any suggestions, let me know in the comment section. I'll try my best to help you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. And if you have not liked or subscribed, please hit the like and subscribe. And I want you guys to share this video as much as you can. Guys, please share this video to your loved ones, to your family, so that they can also get benefited. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.